y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm also showing you how to curl my hair. I get so many questions on how I do this, so I'm gonna show you in this video. I've got quite a few things to do today. I explain all of that in the video. This is not the outfit that I'm wearing, by the way. You have to watch to see what outfit I end up picking out for the day. But if you want to see how I do this every day and what I'm doing today and what outfit I'm wearing, we also touch on a topic um, that I get a lot of questions about, which is confidence. So if you want to hear about all that and watch this video, it's happening right now. <laughs> so the other night I got a spray tan. It was probably two nights ago. It was Friday night. Today's Sunday, by the way. Um, so yeah, Friday night I got a spray tan. Uh, first spray tan that I've gotten in a really, really long time. But I don't hate it. Like, I think it gave me really great color. Well, I mean, like, you can see, like, user error, like, right here and stuff. Um, but I think once it starts to fade a little bit, it'll be okay. They have this, like, membership where you can pay, like, 50 bucks a month and get unlimited spray tans. And I didn't do that because I wasn't sure if I would like it. So I paid 50 bucks for one spray tan. If I end up liking it, I'll probably just do that. But today is a very special day. I'm going to put some of this Kerastase, I think how you say it, serum in my hair. I got this from Alex, the girl that does my hair. Um, one pump is all that I do. I use it as, a, as like a moisturizer for my hair, a heat protectant. Whenever I feel like I need to wash my hair and I don't want to, I'll throw this in there. And it just works so well. Let me put a little bit of chapstick on. All right, so today I'm curling my hair. It's probably the most like requested beauty related like question that you guys asked me. So I'm gonna show you how I do it today. I washed my hair Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday and today's Sunday. So I wait quite a few days before I curl it just because it looks better and it holds a little bit better. I probably wash my hair once or twice a week, depending on the kind of week that I have. So I'm going to pull up half of it. I typically, you know what, no we're not, because I don't even do that. I just, I don't do it. So I'm going to part it where I want to part it. I've already got my tool like heating up. It's a Hot Tools one and a half inch barrel, I'm pretty sure. I put it on all the way up. 450 is what I do, but I have a lot of hair. So, all right, I'm gonna pull it directly down the middle in the back to the sides. We're gonna start on the side that has the least amount of hair. And I'm gonna grab about this much. What is that? About an inch, would we say? Is this hot enough? Yeah. All right, so grab my inch of hair. I'm gonna take this around the back and I'm just gonna wrap it around away from my face. So I don't really do any like special techniques. I wrap everything away from my face. I do about an inch section of hair. This takes me, depending on, oh, that's what it looks like, just this like little curl. Um, depending on, you know, if I'm in a hurry or not, I can probably do this whole hairstyle 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes from like start to finish. And I'm doing my hair first and then we'll do makeup because my hair, once I curl it, it's it's tighter. So I like to kind of give it a second to fall a little bit before I leave the house and get to wherever I need to go. So today is my niece's birthday. They are 11. I have twin nieces, Allie and JC. I talk about them all the time. Um, so today is their birthdays. They've chosen to do sleepovers with their friends, which doesn't include me and I'm a little disappointed, but whatever. Um, and then we're gonna go to lunch. So in my family, whoever's birthday it is, they get to select a place for the whole family to go to lunch and they get free lunch, they get cake, they get presents. I'm picking up balloons today. So they've selected this like barbecue place. It's called Dickie's. I'm pretty sure that's like a franchise type place. So that's what they want. So we're gonna go to Dickie's they like the chicken nuggets. Kids eat free, which is even better. Um, and that's what we're gonna do. Also today, I'm getting ready because I have probably six or seven holiday party dresses. Like most of them are sparkly dresses. And I wanna do a lookbook. So if you've got like a holiday party coming up or you just want 
you know, a pretty sparkly dress, maybe New Year's Eve or something like that. I want to do like a pretty lookbook so that you can see all these different dresses. And I tried to get, I think I did accomplish every single one is a different color. So I tried to get colors that reminded me the most of the holiday season. So I have like burgundy, I have green, I have gold, I have silver, I have like a white blush pink one. Um, what else do I have? I have a black one with like silver, gold, maroon, a bunch of different colors on it. And y'all know too that I've kept a couple of burgundy colored dresses recently. So we may throw one of them in the mix as well. All right, so now that you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing, I'm going to just speed this up and we'll come back when the hair is done and I'll show you um, kind of what I do once it's done before I actually leave the house. So here's what it looks like right after I finish. I want to make sure that I get like a little bit of volume up here versus like the curls all down here. That's the sun behind me. Sorry. Um, so what I may do is pick a couple of strands, maybe like this one, and I'll just recurl it a little bit closer to the root just for a couple of seconds. Meh. So I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm not going to finger comb it or anything. I'm just going to kind of push it back and put it behind my ears, and we'll do some makeup. I use the Eco Tools sponge. I absolutely love it. I buy multiples of these at a time because I do love it so much. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in bronze beige. And then I've got the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Creamy New Natural. <laughs> and then the Maybelline Fit Me and Natural Buff. So we'll do these steps and just chat a little bit. I feel like that sun's playing me back there. It's playing me. It sure is. <laughs> there we go. Kind of. Hopefully you can tell. It's not really a tutorial. You're just going to get ready with me. I love to play these types of videos like when I'm getting ready. I'll just let them play in front of me like on my phone. And it just, I don't know. I like it. I enjoy doing that. So if you are getting ready with me, comment down below where you going. What you doing today? What day is it when you're watching this? Where are you from? All of that fun stuff. So today I am, like I mentioned, it's my niece's birthdays. And then I'm also going to film that holiday dress video. But I do have um, some workout clothes that I want to test. So that's kind of also why I did the spray tan because, you know, sports bras and stuff like that. So we're going to try on and test a few sports bras today too. Not in this video, but for, you know, a later video. You know, something that I want to talk about, I've been getting a lot of questions or a lot of requests recently is probably what I should say. Um, you know, I get a lot of comments, people asking me like how I stay so confident or how I maintain such a good attitude. You know, I am a, a plus size person, like that's no secret and I don't shy away from telling y'all the sizes that I'm ordering or how they fit or why I didn't get something because I didn't like the way it looked on me or you know like I don't think it's anything that you sh that people should be ashamed to talk about it's just the size that you wear it has nothing to do with who you are as a person but I do get hold on let me do my mustache <laughs> I do get quite a few people asking me to talk about confidence and so I wasn't going to address it. And I feel like now that I've gotten quite, I mean, I get them probably every other day. Not every day, but I get a, a, a request like probably every other day to talk about it. So I'm going to tell you what I think, how I feel, and why I feel this way. I don't know if it, if it matters <laughs> or if it maybe will help you or someone out there who's struggling with confidence. 
Um, I don't have like a magic answer and I think a lot of women look I have a blanket on too. I don't I think a lot of women like look for this like magic answer like well what are you doing to be so confident? I need to do that and it'll help me. But the the honest honest to God's truth is I don't have an answer. This is just how I am. I've never there's never been a point in my life where I wasn't this way. And I think it has a lot to do with how I was raised and how I grew up. I mean, I grew up in a single mom household where, you know, not once did we ever talk about being you know, our bodies in a negative way. Not that we really talked about them in a positive way either. We just, it wasn't an, it wasn't a topic. It wasn't an issue. This is what you look like. This is the way that God made you. And that's just what it is. Now, obviously, as you get older, um, you make your own choices and you grow up into adulthood and stuff like that. So I think that I've just carried this mentality with me that like, this is what I look like. And I'm happy with it. I don't have I don't have any negative thoughts about the way that I look. Does that make sense? I also grew up in like an area of the world where we are in swimsuits all the time. It's hot here, um, whether it's at the beach or a friend's pool or now that I'm an adult at my own pool. Like I'm always in a swimsuit and I've never felt like embarrassed to be in a swimsuit. I remember when Brian and I first met and he had a pool and you know, I loved going to the pool and he would invite me over and we would like put swimsuits on and go lay out and go swimming and stuff like that. And there was never a moment where I was like embarrassed to wear my swimsuit in front of him. Um, and I think, like I said, that just stems from me being younger in a positive household and growing up being taught and reminded that you're, that you're worth it. Your self-worth also doesn't connect to the way that you look or the size pants that you wear. I hope this is all making sense because that's how I feel. I don't, um, you know, last night I got the question from someone like, I'd love to see a video on your positive attitude and how you stay confident. So my positive attitude, it's something that I have to actively do every single day because I do make YouTube videos and I am on television for work. People are nasty. People are mean. People will tell you to your face. They will tell you on the internet what they think about you. And on it doesn't affect me. Like what someone's opinion is of me means nothing to me. Like it has no bearing on my everyday life. It has no bearing on me as a person. It is an opinion. Everyone has them everyone's opinion is most likely different. So that opinion is a reflection of them. It is not a reflection of me. So when someone, I had some guy come up to me, I don't know, probably a year ago. So where I work, a lot of people, I'm going to keep working while we talk. A lot of people confuse me for we have a meteorologist. Her name is, I won't say her name. We have a meteorologist and she's been there for years and years and years. And she's actually done a segment on TV because when she got pregnant, I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering correctly, it was before I worked there. Um, she got a lot of flack for gaining weight. I mean, people leaving nasty comments and calling the newsroom and talking about how terrible they thought she looked and stuff. And so they did a segment where she talked about, you know, motherhood. I think it, I think it was when she got pregnant. Um, but you know, just working out and working in this industry and how hard it is sometimes. And how people need to understand that she's a person too. Well, just so happens she is a white woman with blonde hair. <laughs> and people a lot of times confuse me for her. It's a compliment in my opinion. But some guy, anyway, some guy came up to me one day and was like, um, like to my face and he was like smiling about it. He was like, oh, I thought you were that big old fat weather woman. Really? Really? And so I just looked at him and I didn't smile. I didn't say anything. And he just kind of looked at me like, are you going to say something? And I remember saying to him, you can't say that to people. And he was like, no, I don't mean it in a mean way. And I was like, well, it's mean. And like, he just kind of walked away. Um, so I think my, I have a tough skin because I do like, that happens to me oftentimes, you know, on, on TV or on YouTube or whatever. So it is what it is. Like, it's not 
anything that bothers me. Like I said, that that opinion is a reflection of the person giving it. It has nothing to do with me. Now, with all that being said, and y'all know this, I'm just using some bronzer. This is the TARDIS Pro Glow palette. I like to use this side. So this bronzer is called Autograph. The blush is Premier. Headliner is the highlight. We're going to use all three. I have something in my mouth. So with all of that being said, y'all know also that I'm a very active person. Like I enjoy like working out certain workouts. Let's be honest. I enjoy like certain workouts. Um, I enjoy like walks and you know, trampoline parks and stuff like that, even as a plus size person, which is the comment that I get a lot of times too, like, oh, like, you know, you do so well, or you look so pretty, or you whatever for a, for a plus size person. And I honestly wish that like that part of the sentence would just go away. It's like being plus size doesn't define who I am on the inside. I wish the sentence was like, Oh, you did great at the trampoline park without that underlying like for a plus size person. You know what I mean? And and on, I'm, honestly, I'm a little uncomfortable talking about it all because it's not something that I wanted to talk about because it really doesn't play a role in my everyday life. But I felt like I needed, this is the blush, that I needed to talk about it because I do get so many questions and I do get so many responses, too, from people that are like, you know, I've worn a swimsuit for the first time because of your videos. Or I've worn shorts this year for the first time in years because of your videos. Like, stuff like that. And it's crazy to me that, like, I can impact people so much. So I feel like it's important for me to address things that people um, hear, the people you and I know and comment and talk to every day. Um, are struggling with and I hope that this you know my experience can help you if that's what you're looking for uh, my advice if if I had to give some advice would be someone else's opinion is just that that's someone else's opinion it means it has no bearing on what you are who you are as a person it's a reflection of them I've learned that Secondly, how to be confident in your own skin. Um, I mean, like, I don't sit in the mirror every day or, like, look in the mirror in the morning naked and say, like, you are beautiful. Like, I don't do that. I wear clothes that make me feel good. I wear styles of clothes that I think are flattering. I curl my hair and I put makeup on and I just go about my day. Um, you know, I'm surrounded by people who love me and love me the way that I am. I do too think it's important to be confident, but also work on yourself at the same time. And that doesn't mean like, I have all these like little brush hairs. That doesn't mean only like physically, that means mentally as well. So I'm an advocate for mental health days. If you are being, if you're overwhelmed at work or just maybe you've got a house full of kids and you do chores all day like if you're overwhelmed I'm a huge advocate of just taking a back seat like just for a day maybe a couple hours whatever you can afford to do just take that time sit back and relax and that was hard for me to do for a really long time and you know now it's getting a little bit harder too because YouTube is becoming more of my full-time job and I'm my own boss and so I kind of pressure myself into working all the time and I haven't yet taken that break that I know I need because I do this and then I also work full-time. So I need to take my own advice and take that little bit of a mental health break and just breathe and just relax. So I think your mental health is so important. It's it's the basis of how you feel as a person. If you don't feel good mentally on the inside, the outside's not going to reflect that. Secondly, but first, we're going to use this Morphe. Which one is this? Nature Glow Palette. Secondly, physically, I think that you should strive to be active. I think having a healthy heart is the most important thing physically. Um, it's how you live, it's how you survive, it's how you continue on going every single day. So I enjoy hot yoga. I enjoy um, 
going on walks with the dog. I enjoy like doing active things. Um, so I think you can be happy with yourself and the way that you look while you're working to better yourself, which I think is my mentality always. Um, never settle. I'm always strive. Look at that one piece of hair I missed right there. Look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this curling iron back on. Oh, it's still on. Um, so always, always strive to do better. And so for me, that's, okay, well, every day I'm going to get X amount of steps in. And that's how I know that, like, okay, I've reached this, like, fitness bit of a goal for the day. And if I don't end up getting anything else in, then I'm okay with that. I hope that helps. This was not my goal to talk about this in this entire video. Like I said, it's a topic that, um... I'd never planned on addressing, but I want to address it because I do get so many people who ask for my opinion and ask for, you know, suggestions. You hear Cash? <laughs> She's sitting in here with me. And ask for suggestions on how to be more confident. What are y'all's plans for New Year's Eve? I don't have any plans. I have to work. Typical Taryn has to work on New Year's Eve. But... I'm hauling all of these party dresses and I kept that one from City Chic and the one from Esprilla that are gorgeous like burgundy colors. So part of me, it doesn't even have to be New Year's Eve, part of me wants to wear one of those dresses and like make reservations at this really nice restaurant that Brian and I like downtown, go to dinner, and then maybe like go walking through Bell and Grath Gardens. If you're from here, you know what it is. If you're not, it's this big floral garden, it's huge. But during the holidays, they decorate it all for Christmas, and it's so pretty. So part of me wants to be like, listen, I'm going to wear this dress, and we're going to go somewhere. You know? I mean, I'm pretty sure I work. Like, I haven't looked at the schedule yet, but I don't know if I really need to, to know that, like, I'll be working that day. As long as it's not a Sunday or a Monday, I'll be at work, because those are my off days. So, I'm so excited. If you didn't watch the Q&A video... That I did with Brian. I'm so excited because come February, beginning of February, my contract ends with TV and I'll get to do this full time. And that's crazy, right? That's crazy to me that this will be my full time job. And I'm so excited. Like, I have this, you can't see it here, but I've got this like um, whiteboard calendar to like line up everything, write everything out, what I need to do, what videos I want to get done. I'm so excited to be able to have the time in my day to like get to places that I can't get to now because you know I only have X amount of hours to do this before I have to go to work. So I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be so different for me. Like I've always worked a traditional job, even though TV's not really traditional. You know, I've always worked, like gone to a job every day and for a while in my life I've worked multiple jobs. So I'm just like so excited. I'm a little nervous too because like all the pressure's on me. You know what I mean? Like I don't have a boss saying like, hey, we need this video done by Tuesday, it's me. And I know the amount of pressure that I put on myself, like the expectations that I set for myself are pretty high. So I need to remember to just relax. It's fine. Like have your schedule, your filming schedule, your editing schedule, and I'm going to try, I'm going to, I'm not gonna try, I'm going to. I think it's important to not, you know, not work every single day, like seven days a week, 24 seven type thing. And I think with a stay at home type job like this, especially you can end up working all day, every day if you let yourself. So I'm going to try to keep the same schedule and not work on Sundays and Mondays when Brian and I are off together. But every other day is fair game. That's what I'm telling myself. I need to wake up when he wakes up. I'm going to go to hot yoga in the mornings, which is nice. I'm going to curl this hair too because I've been talking about it for so long. I just love hot yoga. It's the best thing for my body, physically and mentally. It just, look how cute that little curl is. <laughs> um, it's just amazing. So I'm gonna go to hot yoga. That's my plan. So I'll wake up, he wakes up at like 7, 7.30. I'll get up. I think the first hot yoga class, I wanna say is at nine, which is perfect because it's like, 20 minutes from my house. So we'll go to 9 a.m. hot yoga. It's usually an hour. Home by 10.30, shower. Get ready if I need to. Do some videos, edit videos, whatever I need to do for the day. That's the plan. 
and I'm excited. I'm nervous. I will say that again. I am nervous um, because it's not guaranteed like income, but we're going to do it. We're going to try it out. We're going to do it. And if I hate it or if it doesn't work out, I'll go get a job. Done. Not a problem. <laughs> I was going to do eyeliner and then I was like, no, nah, don't really, I don't really want to do that. I may put some on later because we're going to go to lunch and hang out with family and stuff first. And then later tonight when it starts to get a little bit dark, there's a couple of parks where my mom lives in her little town that have decorated for the holidays. So there's like the big city Christmas tree that's all lit up. And then there's a park that's got Christmas lights and stuff. So that's where I want to film the dresses. So I can, you know, touch up some makeup a little bit later. Maybe put something sparkly on my lids to do that. I'll show y'all my outfit too, for sure. Once I figure out what I'm wearing. I've pulled a bunch of stuff out because it's not, it's not cold at all today. December 1st and I think the high is like 80 degrees. So my couple of options I have for outfits. Um, those two tops that I got from Thread Tank I think are adorable with a little cardigan. So I pulled, initially pulled the dry shampoo one and then I thought, you know what, no, it's the holidays. Let me do the tinsel one. So I may do that with like that long tan cardigan, cardigan that I showed in the video. I also pulled a gray and white striped knotted top from Asprilia and I also pulled that like patchwork skirt from Asprilia. I think would be really cute with that white top tucked in, how I tried it in the video, with the long tan cardigan and just some little tan booties. You know? It's different. And I think that's what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Like it makes me nervous to wear something so different, but I did get a spray tan. So my legs are tan and I may do it. I'm just taking this makeup remover wipe and getting like the foundation off my lips and I'm gonna do my eyebrows. A little bit more chapstick because I have a problem. Candy cane chapstick is the best. For eyebrows, I'm going to use this Tarte Busy Gal Brows in the color Taupe. I just brush it in, that's it. It kind of just darkens them up a little bit. The other day I almost bought, um, what brand was it? Wet n Wild on Black Friday was doing 50% off, not of everything, but 50% off your cart. So I put this like blonde mascara brow type like this in my cart with a bunch of other stuff. And I didn't end up purchasing because the discount, I mean, I know it was 50% off your cart. I get it, but I don't know. I wanted 50% off each item. <laughs> I'm like the typical consumer. So I didn't get it. Let me know if you like, if you've tried the Wet n Wild brow like this and you like it, let me know because I may go in store and try it. All right, next we're gonna do highlight. I'm gonna use the same one from this little palette. Then I like to take a little brush and just kind of, I don't want it just like chunky sitting right there. I want it spread out a little bit and then I'm gonna take my big powder brush and do my nose. And that's it. That's all we're gonna do today as far as makeup. So let me do the hair and then I'll spray my face once everything dries. So my hair, this is what we're looking like now. I'm just gonna finger comb it first. And sometimes I'll brush it, just depends on like what it looks like after finger combing. Like if I want this more like PC look, then I won't brush it. But if I want more like solid hair and not so PC, I'll brush it. And to be honest, I'll probably brush it today. Yeah. Okay, take a hairbrush and I'm just gonna brush my hair. I don't like brush it extra hard, but you can see like the curl just looks different when I do it that way. Okay, and I'm gonna take a little bit of hairspray. I have really been liking this too. One of y'all recommended this KMS Anti-Humidity Seal Spray. And I've really been liking it, like it's almost gone. So we're gonna spray it. Then we're gonna do a little bit of hairspray. <laughs> oh my God, that made my eyes water, for real. This is the Schwart Sch Schwartzkopf, Schwartzkopf, Schwartzkopf. All day hold hairspray. There you go. 
And then I just like to do like this because I want it to hold all them little baby hairs down and fly away. And the very last step that I've been doing for my face is spray. So Jamie Susie here on YouTube, if you don't follow her, you should, recommended the e.l.f. Makeup Mist. I don't know if this was the exact one. I think it was, but it was like three bucks, three or four bucks. It is aggressive, but it's really good. Another one that I like is this one, the Mario Badescu, Badescu in the lavender. It smells amazing, but it's like 12 bucks for that bottle, so this one's way cheaper. Are y'all ready to see just how aggressive it is? Here we go. And what I'm going to do, because I'm impatient, is I'm going to take the other side of my like sponge with no makeup on it, and I'm just going to dab so that that wetness goes away faster, because I'm very impatient. All right, so now that the makeup's done, the hair is done, let's put on an outfit. So we have an outfit together. I'm wearing this Don't Get Your Tinsel in a Tangle Top from Thread Tank. This cardigan came from Walmart. These are the American Eagle Mom jeans that I can't quit wearing. And then I'm just wearing these like tan sandals from Target because it's hot today. It's not hot, but it ain't cold. You know, like I wish I could wear some of those like sweaters that I've been hauling, but I can't. So this is the outfit that we're going to get today. And that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Everything I'm wearing will be linked down below as long as I can find it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.